Tofurky Kibasa Meat Free Non GMO Polish Style Meatless Sausage. This is the subject for our taste test today. And looking at the nutritional information 8 grams of carbohydrate, 660 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and other 26 grams of protein. It's almost like eating the real thing. We're going to take this. It comes in a regular package. As you see, that looks like the real deal. We're going to take this, open it up, cook it up, and let you know if it meets the vegan taste test. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to see if it really looks like real meat or just a bad imitation. Here we go. Take it out of its cover, and we're going to make a slight cut on the side here, and just take one of these lucky subjects out and take a look at it to see exactly what we have here. Oh yeah, that almost looks like the real deal there. Not bad, not bad at all. Yes, it looks pretty much like a real thing, almost. You see the little speckles and stuff in there, I guess they call that herbs and spices, but this is what we're going to cook up. Okay, here we go. This is the finished product on the Tofurky in the taste test. And as you see, I put some mushrooms with it so that we can make it look better and add a little bit of taste to it. I like mushrooms with my meals. Some of you might not, but I sauteed me some mushrooms and some oil along with the Tofurky while I was cooking it. And here we are. And we're going to take my knife and I'm going to cut it and we're going to examine the texture and then I'm going to bring in my guest taste tester and we're going to taste it. Let me get up and go over here and slice it up and let's see what we have on the inside of this. See if it if it meets meets standards. Feels like a a real sausage. Gonna cut it in some slices here. Okay, and there we go. As you see, looking at the texture of it, it looks pretty much like sausage sausage. Pretty good imitation of it. And I think what I'm going to do is go over here and get I also like mustard on my sausage too. And it's alright. Come on. Over. I'm going to get my guest taste tester over here and we're going to give a little bit of a come on around on this side because I'm taping over here. And we're going to do our taste test. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you I'm going to give her this little piece here. You want some mushrooms? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let me get some mushrooms. And put it up there like that. It might be a little hot now. Okay. This is where we're going to get for for taste test. That looks like the real thing, doesn't it? Okay. Talking to the microphone. You can smack if you want to. <laughs> yeah, eat. Let me know what it tastes like. Let's see. Tell you since say yes, you like it? What? It's okay. Oh, okay. 
Well, see, she's a non-vegan. She's a meteor. So let me take a take a test myself. You don't say you like so so. It's not good. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that's our guest taste tester. There. You think it tastes better with mustard on? No. Uh oh. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your professional opinion. Let me taste it and see what we got. Hmm. It kind of tastes like sausage, but then again, it doesn't. Kind of has a more like a bready taste on it. Is it tofu? Yeah, uh huh. Tofu with herbs and spices in it. I'm gonna try a little bit with a little bit of mustard on it. See if we can do it up. Let's see what we got here. See if we can add a little bit of flavor to it. Just out of curiosity. Might have to jazz this up by putting something with it if, if you get it. It's okay, but it, mm, it tastes a little bit better with uh, mustard on it. <coughs> hmm. Well, it's close, but not quite there. It doesn't quite taste like real meat. Because it kind of has a bready type of consistency. It looks almost there, but... It has a kind of a little bready consistency to it. Mm. Let's see. One last bite here. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Has an interesting taste, but uh, it tastes like a imitation sausage. Hmm. So now let's pause for a second and let's give our rating on this item. Okay, it's time to give this our rating, and I'm going to ask the opinion of my taste, my guest taste tester here. And what do you feel about it? What kind of grade do you think it needs to be? A, B, C, D, or F? I think it needs to be a B. A B. B minus or B plus? Uh, B plus. Talk a little closer. B plus. Okay, and tell me why. Because it didn't, it didn't taste all that good. It was okay. Okay. And what it, what it tasted uh, kind of bread. It didn't taste like sausage sausage, did it? No. Oh, okay. So it, didn't, it definitely didn't taste as good as your meat sausage since you like to eat meat, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. But now if I were to come across a, a product that didn't have meat in it that tasted like meat, would you eat it? Yes. Ah, okay. So since our guest taste test today, you say it just a B, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to give it a B. And this is our rating for the product. Uh, it looks real. It's a vegan product, no GMO. It contains wheat, wheat gluten, soy, and cane sugar. But it has a bready taste. And this is our report card here for the Tofurky Meat-Free Kibasa. Grade B with the assistance of our guests vegan taste tester Soraya and thanks folks for taking a look at it and uh, consider the product if you want something that's close but not quite this might be your bet but there are other products out there that probably taste a little bit closer to sausage sausage than this one but anyway we'll keep striking and hitting at it until we come across everything that tastes like what it's supposed to taste like 
Thanks a lot for looking and catch you next time.